on guys welcome back to everyday minimalist my name is brandon and today we are looking at the benchmade infidel this thing is ridiculous it's a classic and i just wanted to get my hands on it this was brought to you guys by bladeops.com go visit bladeops.com let them know that brandon or everyday minimalist had sent you and they will definitely hook you up on your next purchase we will leave a link to this exact knife in the description below so go ahead and check that out let's dive right into it here is the box that it comes in it is going to be a black class box so again it's going to be a tactical use built to take a beating in that sense first thing you'll notice is that it does come with this kadora style sheath super nice it actually does have some branding on there and then next up in the box you will get that benchmade manual kind of goes over the different classes and then their life sharp warranty and let's go ahead and dive right in to the knife itself and then also the sheath so you will get belt buckle loop here pretty much attach it to whatever whether it be like a military style bag or your belt and then this just unbuttons up top so super simple so here you go this is the benchmade infidel um, it's a really well-known knife and switchblade guys i just want to get this out of the way if you are in a jurisdiction where this is illegal make sure that you know you check your county laws i know a lot of places are illegal but we're here in salt lake city utah and they are legal just want to get out of the way just make sure that you guys are safe first thing you'll notice is this really nice kind of switch setup that they've got and also the heft of it um let's go ahead and show you guys what this thing actually looks like it's got a double edged dagger style blade, D2 steel, flat grind all around, and that black DLC coating. I'm not sure if it's CPM D2, but it is going to be some pretty decent steel. Fantastic deployment, guys. As you can tell, it's super easy to actually get this blade out. And um, I really appreciate that. So, one thing that um, the Microtech knives kind of gripes me is it actually takes a lot of time to actually break in those specific knives and it's a lot harder when they're brand new to actually deploy with this infidel it's actually a lot easier i'm talking you're only needing to apply maybe 45 percent of the force to get this thing to deploy versus where you know if you went with a uh, microtech knife it's it's gonna take a lot of force and my thumb actually started cramping trying to use the microtech ultra tech so looking around this guy, you'll notice that there is going to be some of this rip jumping it here in the aluminum handles. And then on the back side here, I don't know if you guys can notice, this is going to be kind of like a deep carry pocket clip. And it does have laser engraved infidel in there. And I think that's really cool. The font that they use on the pocket clip is absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and give you guys some specs. The overall blade length, you're looking at 3.91 inches. So this is a pretty hefty knife. The total open length, you're looking at close to nine inches is actually 8.91 inches. So very long knife. At least it's an OTF, so you can actually retract it. When it is retracted, you're looking at only about five inches. Again, it is gonna be a hefty knife, but it's not as heavy as you would think. There are some dimensions for you guys. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the comparison between this and then my other favorite Benchmade knife, which is of course the Benchmade Mini Freak. There you guys go, the Benchmade Infidel versus the Benchmade Mini Freak. It is gonna be quite a bit longer when it is deployed. So um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but it's a pretty big blade. When you do retract it, it's uh, only like an inch or two longer than the Mini Freak. It's not bad. I mean, I would definitely EDC this knife. Here's the deployment of the knife itself. And yeah, I, I actually really enjoy it. it. It fires out really fast. It retracts really fast. One thing I did want to bring up is gonna be that finish on the handle. So this is going to be a kind of like gritty matte texture that they've got on there. It does show somewhere, but um, it kind of gives it some spirit. You know, you've put it through its paces. You buy this knife for the functionality and the convenience of having an OTF. This knife is great. I would definitely recommend it. It's super sharp. Probably the, my most favorite OTF that I've handled so far. 
even the firing switch is stepped on both ends so it is very comfortable ergonomically it is going to be built for right hand use this is going to be also left hand use because it doesn't take much force to get that out and um they've kind of made it more symmetrical up front it is going to be very expensive but you get that with benchmade um, myself personally i do like benchmade and i think it's worth the money so if you guys are looking at an otf and you're in the market definitely check out the infidel they do also make a smaller version and we'll try to get our hands on that one if you guys like this content go ahead throw me a thumbs up if you guys disliked it throw me a thumbs down i promise we will do better next time if you guys want to see some awesome photos of this specific knife and then a few others, go ahead, check out my Instagram. That's just going to be every.day.minimalist. And then you guys can see all those new kind of like styles I'm kind of testing out with photography. If you guys want to see more content here on YouTube, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell icon so you guys know when that next video is live. Thank you guys so much for dropping by and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.